I just started filming a new electric mobility world record story. It will be the third in my career. The first was in 2010, where I filmed the first electric car driving from Alaska all the way down to Argentina in South America. Then the second record was 2019 with Long Way Up, where I filmed Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman riding electric Harley Davidson across South America. And now the third one called Peak Evolution will be about an electric truck trying to reach the highest altitude ever on Earth. And that's on a volcano in Chile, nearly 7,000 meters altitude. And the story is an initiative of three young, very fit Swiss guys, mountaineers, mountain bikers. And I'm filming now for the first time with them. I try to capture their spirit, pushing boundaries, setting records. And what they are doing here in the Monte Rosa area near Zermatt, they want to establish an altitude record with mountain bikes. And that's up there at Signalkuppe, 4,550 meters altitude. But first they have to carry the bikes up there. And I have to see how far I can keep up with them. Fortunately, I have a second cameraman. He's very young and fit. So if I can't make it, hopefully Zidario can do it. It's really fun to work with young people with this mindset of pushing boundaries and setting records. That's the spirit you need for startups, for new businesses, to change things. And it would be cool if I could capture the third electric mobility world record with Peak Evolution. That's the mission. It should happen next year, 2022. The vehicle at the moment is sitting at home in the workshop. We are building it on the base of an existing diesel powered vehicle. So we remove the diesel engine, the exhaust, everything we don't need anymore. And we fitted a new drivetrain that we developed and built. And now we are fitting the electric motors. Then it's the inverters and the whole wiring. So we're looking at the beginning of 2022 when the vehicle will be ready to drive. Sometimes it seems that it's getting a bit too much, but really what we're doing now is just a training tour for um, next time when we do the proper world record with our vehicle. So what's the plan? We had a short sleep, like 20 minutes power nap. Two o'clock in the morning, sky is clear. Perfect conditions to start the attack to the signal coupe. <sighs> In your early morning exercise, ah! carrying bikes. Ah! Carrying bikes at night, carrying bikes during the day. Yeah, it's, all, it's always a pleasure. Ah. Carry ah. bike during the night, on the rocks, pleasure. And so what's the reason why you actually do this at night? We walk through the night because we, it's absolutely crucial that we are at the top when the snow is still hard and frozen from the night. It will be very beautiful soon. Yeah. What's the time now? Just before five. Yeah. We will reach a zone with really a lot of crevices in a bit. So we need to be prepared. <gasps> It's really cold now. <laughs> so you better stop moving. Uh, yeah. It's not funny anymore. Nee, hast du Hunger? Nein, ich muss mich tragen sein. Nee, ich komme rauf, jetzt ziehen wir es durch. How is it going? Pretty tough. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. We are now almost on 3,500 meters above sea level. And yeah, it's, it's really exhausting. And 
probably we are too late on the on the peak. Yeah, it's it's hard, especially I am feeling <laughs> I yeah really really exhausted. Aber wenn wir uns entscheiden, dann wird es schon langsam. Mal gut, irgendein Frust. Well, we just realized that um, Dave and I aren't fast enough to uh, to make it up there in time. So we try and get our best chance by sending Patrick and Cesario ahead. Yeah, it's. I think the peak is really far away, but yeah, like, give me the chance to try it. So maybe you just stay there and come back tomorrow. <laughs> I will see. Good luck. We, we try it. Thank you. Oh, the track is so bad and... Oh no, it's so... peak is so far away. I want to go home. Andiamo a casa, Sidario. E dai! Manca così poco. È terribile. Oh no, come on. I can't hook my bike. Oh. <sighs> the thin air makes the climbing really difficult. But eventually, after 10 hours, Patrick and Sidario reached the peak. Uh, we finally arrived in the Capanna Margherita. We just got the coke. Uh, yeah, I think we have to go down really fast. The onset of altitude sickness forces them to leave after just 10 minutes. What's the story? How did you make it? Yeah. What should I say? But I'm hooking a bike, I don't know, 15 hours. And yeah, it's, it's really difficult to find some words to say how long it is and how hard it is. <laughs> Two o'clock start and 12 o'clock in the hut. It was double that long that I, that I saw it, so yeah. There was just one thing, one foot to the other and breathe in, breathe out and a lot of patience, yeah. <laughs> 